The coordinate system is fundamental to the functionality of any CAD system as it allows the user to specify the location and orientation of an object. The Cartesian coordinate system is basically formed by six pieces of data. The object's position in the x-direction, the position in the y-direction, the position in the z-direction and the rotation about each axis. Uh, so here in FreeCAD if we go to the draft workbench we can see here uh, the x, y and z direction are indicated by this icon. There we go. And as an example we can use the draft workbench to draw two circles uh, pos and position each one at a point in space that we require. So we go back to the top view looking down on the z um, we can draw a circle and here we can enter the position of the circle so if we put the first circle at 0, 0, 0 and the radius of 10 millimeters we get that to fit into the screen um, we now have a circle positioned at the um, global origin within the modeling space and if we go ahead and draw a second circle position this one at 0, 0, 10 and 10 millimeters again uh, as you would expect that circle has been positioned 10 millimeters above the first one now uh, this is looking from the front and looking from the right we can see that each one is aligned uh, so that's the basics of the coordinate system So placement is a, a, an extension of the Cartesian coordinate system. Uh, there's two types of placement, global and relative. Um, so we already discussed the uh, global positioning and placement. Uh, so if we look at the two circles from the last example, uh, the bottom one we placed at 0, 0, 0, uh, the global origin, and the one above it we placed at uh, 0, 0, 10, so it's 10 millimeters above the global origin. Now if we copy um, this circle um, relative to its current position, so we pick its current position using the draft snaps and we move that now um, relative to its position. Uh, we want to move 0 in the X 0 in the Y and 10 millimeters upwards in the Z direction and that, that has positioned the, the new circle at 0, 0, 20. This one was 0, 0, 0. You'll see that. Uh, the second one was 0, 0, 10 and the new one we moved 10 millimeters upwards relative to its original position and that puts us at 0, 0, 020. That's placement. A workbench can be considered a set of tools specifically de designed and grouped for a certain task. Uh, so FreeCAD and many other CAD packages are designed this way to give you the tools you need to perform a certain task. Uh, in these tutorials we'll mainly be focusing on the draft workbench which we'll have a quick look at. So this provides, let me make a new file, this provides all the draft tools that you would need to draw uh, draft objects and posi position them. Uh, the sketcher workbench, which is for drawing parametric sketches. Uh, the part design workbench, uh, which is for building parts from parametric sketches and the part workbench uh, which is for making the CAD parts uh, and that's the workbenches the object tree contains all the parts of your model and a history of how they were made so here we can see a box, a cylinder and a sphere as shown in the um, view here um, 
The parts in the tree can be organised into groups by clicking on the top level object and creating a new group. Let's we make a group. This one can be my group. I'll make another one. This one will be your group. And then the objects can then be organised into uh, its respective group. Um, the object tree can also be used to hide and show um, groups by selecting objects or groups and pressing the spacebar or hiding the individual objects. Well, that's the basics of the object tree. The properties of objects in FreeCAD can be viewed and modified using the property browser. Uh, the data available is specific to each type of object, so a cylinder will have a height and a radius, while well, a box will have a height, length and width. Uh, these objects uh, these properties can be modified by typing in a new property. As you can see, the, the view updates. And that's it, that's the basics of uh, the object properties. Parametric modeling uses parameters such as dimensions to define the geometry of a model. These parameters allow parts to be created that you can then modify at a later date. Now, this is extremely useful when you're developing a design and you need to tweak part of the model, as you can modify just that part rather than starting the whole model again. So as an example, I've drawn uh, three sketches, uh, two circles and a square in between them. What I'd like to do is loft those into a solid. So if we select each sketch and create a solid from those, uh, this, is our, this is our final part. Um, so at a later date if I come back and I decide I, I want to modify this, um, I don't have to delete it and start again. I can simply open the constrained sketches, um, change the values of the dimensions I, I selected and close the sketcher and it will update automatically. Uh, th this is extremely useful when you've got more complex um, geometry where this is quite simple. Uh, sometimes you might have uh, numerous items in the tree that if you were to start drawing again it would take a lot of time. Uh, so that's parametric modelling.